All right, well, you can see I'm on the other side of the roof now. I got all the flash feed in place and I brought the longest rails up and have them set to go in the brackets. Now, the first thing you wanna do is line them up one one way and the other the other. And the big reason is because where you end up having to join them, you want to have the brakes on different parts. You don't want to have the brakes at the same on every rail. A little structural stability. So anyways, I slid all of the mounting bolts in all the way along here. And what I'm going to do now is start on this end. This guy started and work my way down. Last one. There we go. Now once you get your rails in and set, you want to get them, at least these locked down so you can do a measurement on what you're going to have to cut for the extra piece. So up here you can see I've got the tape measure all set and I did a little calculation and it turns out, if you see, I have to go 11 and a quarter inches over on the end and that accounts for one inch on each end for, you, for the mounting bolt and the mounting bolt spacer. So this is gonna go together. This is gonna go here and you gotta make sure you leave room for that. So I'll mount these right now, the longest rails. And when it comes time, I'll get back to you about installing the rest. Okay, when it comes time to extend these Iron Ridge rails or others, they usually come with some sort of splice and that's what we have right here, an Iron Ridge splice. What you do is grab about the halfway point, slide it in there about halfway and then it's going to come with two stainless uh, self-tapped screws. Put one near the center. And then one near the end. Okay, I got my extra piece ready to go. So I will slide my bolt in there. Get this thing slid up nice and tight Ooh. there we go bolt it's right about where it should be then take your screws on the other side there you have it one splice well, installing the rails is fairly simple. You start with the longest rails you have that you're going to use and you install the mounting bolts, slide them along to their position or about that. Then you just slide the rails up and in the slots from the flash feet. You run around, lift them up to an approximate height and then tighten them. Now remember, as you can see, stagger your rails you want to do that to ensure stability when you're adding the extensions. You don't want cuts in the same spot. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And thanks all for supporting my channel. Hey, when it's time to start a DIY project and you need some help, check out my website at gogreenenergyonline.com or give me a call at 952-334-6. Four zero zero. Now it's time to add the splices on the end of each rail where they go and then the extension. Now when you're measuring your extensions, don't forget to add the one inch on either side for the outside mounting bolts for the modules, as well as put a half inch or more in for any grounding you need, plus six to eight inches if you're going to have an electrical box mounted. One last thing, don't forget to use a torque wrench and torque everything to a proper spec. All right, as you can see, I've got all the rails and the extensions on them and installed loosely with the uh, mounting bolts into the clips ready to go. So what we had to do, first things first, is we had someone on the ground eyeball it and we lined up all these ends just to make sure they're straight. You can measure off the feet, but the feet aren't always in the same place. So the next thing I decided to do was take that chalk box string and put it right on here so that I can tell what's level and what's not. And I can see that this guy's a little bit low up here. So I will loosen him up. Get that tight. Now what I did was I watched until this started coming up. Once it stopped coming up, then I knew I was level. So I can see this one looks good. But we come down here, we got a nice little gap and that guy's high. And those look pretty decent too. So I think I'll just raise this guy up a little bit. down those look pretty decent 
All right, so I've got it level on one end. I'm gonna work my way across doing it and get the whole thing leveled out. And the real key and the important thing to doing this, because roofs aren't always flat, so you got to accommodate and work your rails up and down to get them level as you go. But more importantly, you want your rails level so when you get your modules on, your modules look nice and straight from the ground.